What is happening, Magnusites? <laughs> Woo! Mohawk. Let's get into this review right now. Yeah, so, movie was phenomenal. I had a good ass time. I was in my world. Man, look, shit. See, when you come here and you get movie reviews, you're getting a review from a regular guy. You're getting a review from not a critic, but from a regular old guy. I'm not in there looking for a cinematographer and to see how deep the character development is. I'm not looking for none of that. I'm looking for what I came to the movie to see. And that was pure superhero action. And I got it. I really don't even know where to start. I really don't know where to start. It started off with action. And, you know, I loved it because there were a couple times when I was watching a movie where on screen I was thinking, you know, just looking at it, I was just like, wow, man. I was just like, to see so many superheroes on screen at the same time like this all working together especially with the original avengers and then you had um quicksilver and scarlet witch joining in by the way i believe they i think that they showed their powers in a, a great a great way I've, I've i liked um quicksilver um the one from Days of Future Past is a little bit better, I think. But I did like this one. I did. I liked him. Scarlet Witch, I liked how they brought her in. She almost had that... You know what they kind of gave her a look of? Um, uh, possessed. You know, like when you watch some of them satanic movies or something demonic, like things that like move really fast and stuff like, like, like those jittery motions like that. They kind of got through some of that in there. I'm going to try to keep this without spoilers, by the way. Some things could be kind of spoiler-ish. But um, um, at the end, uh, I did not stay because I've been told that there is no in-scene credit. But there is a mid-in-scene credit. You know what I'm talking about, you know. Uh, let me see here. I love the new Iron Man outfit in this. It was like a red and what was it like a red and silver? I like that. I didn't like that with that suit in Iron Man three. But anyway, man, they are all kicking ass, four wielding Mjolnir, lightning, whooping people's ass, showing you just like nobody could mess with him. Nobody could mess with him physically. You get what I'm saying here? Nobody. Um, uh, you know, to start prepared for every almost almost every single situation. Um. You got the Hulk tearing shit up like none other. I mean, there was a point, and I laughed to myself when I when I said this to myself. I was sitting there thinking to myself. I said, "This is exactly what I said in my head." I was like, "Man, the Hulk is incredible." And I was like, "Wait a minute." The Incredible Hulk. Like, you couldn't have placed it any better. Like, if I was in a commercial, it would have been perfect for it, you know? Um, Black Widow did her thing. I totally love the way they, they, they did her in this. She didn't appear weak to me in any form or fashion. She was kicking ass. She held her own with all the boys. Hawkeye was doing his thing, as usual, hitting the bullseye, you know? Um, they introduced Vision. They did a great job with Vision. I really liked Vision. Vision, Vision, Vision was cool. Vision was cool. Ultron. Man, he's different than what I thought he would be. But he's kind of like Tony, but evil, but a little bit different. He like talking trash, making jokes, sarcasm, all that shit. That's um, Ultron. But I don't believe. He said, there are no strings on me. Like he did in the trailer. I think he did it differently. I think, but from what I hear, there's going to be a Blu-ray that's going to have tons of extras and an alternate ending, extended footage, all that stuff. And I'm getting that. Believe you me, I'm getting that. Um, 
I don't know which was better, Avengers 1 or 2. I'm still coming down before I can weigh them both out. Um, uh, uh, Nick Fury's in there doing his thing as usual. Um, but damn, man, they had everybody in there. Um, War Machine was in there. I mean, everybody was in there. Everybody was in there. And I got to tell you this. Certain parts were really good. I mean, just the action, just everything they were doing. But the Hulkbuster fight was worth the price of admission. Oh, oh, this is what I want to tell y'all, too, I was thinking. I'm telling you, from Tyrone Magnus to the Magnusites and anybody else that is watching this movie review, the trailers and all 29 TV spots did not ruin Shit, okay? It ain't ruined nothing for me. I had an extraordinary time. A, a, a tawny, oh, as Jeremy Jones would say, putting the pipe in his mouth. It was great, okay? So, Avengers Age of Ultron gets five out of five woos, all right? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the movie. Okay? Try not to spoil it for the rest of the people, too. Be courteous, all right? And I know some of you dicks are going to come, and you're going to say something and spoil it, and I'm just going to ban you. That's what I do now. I ban you when you want to spoil stuff, because you're being a dick, a troll, an asshole. Yes, all the above. Um... Yeah. I think that's about it, y'all. I'm, I'm probing my mind to make sure there was nothing that I missed that I want to talk about. It was it was worth it. Totally worth it. I saw it in IMAX, too. Is that 4K? I know my camera is 4K right now. Yeah. 4K. K. 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 Anyway, um... None of the Avengers. Oh, Captain! How did I forget Captain? I hate that when I forget Captain. Like, there's so many of them that I forget sometimes. Captain America doing his thing, and he was really leading this time. He was the leader doing his thing. He is the leader flipping, punching, swinging. I mean, the man is a master of um, physical, uh, what, dynamics and uh, f physics. He's a master of physics, okay? A master of them. Man, he, it, look. I, man, look. I was happy with every single character in the movie. I don't find, I haven't found any flaws as far as I'm concerned. As a matter of fact, another thing I want to mention. Um, I ain't going to lie, okay? Cut parts in the movie, you know, I was a little like, uh, whoo. <sighs> okay, all right. You a man. You, uh, you a man. Uh, uh, yeah, they tugged at your heartstrings, okay? They went deep into a few things and a few characters' minds and stuff like that. And I was like, wow. I mean, I said, I said this is messing with me. I'm like, I'm feeling, I'm really feeling bad. I'm feeling some emotion. It wasn't just... The straight old shallow superhero movie where it's like punch, punch, kick, superpower, good guy, beats the bad guy, saves damsel, saves the world. It was like, wow, like, I see these guys really struggling with, with, with dilemmas in their head, you know? Which some people say makes it more relatable, which made me enjoy it more, you know, made them seem human. <laughs> Not just a you know a god that you couldn't relate to like Superman. <laughs> you know, like it was really it was good. It was good, and I can't wait to see what Mr. Wheaton, okay, does what JW does with with the rest. I can't wait. Man, you did a phenomenal job. And if you need another <clears throat> Black superhero. I offer myself and my talents. Check the Mohawk, Mr. Wheaton. Okay, I'm ready to do this.
who you need, just let just call me. My business email is on the about section of my page. You can write me there or have your people get in touch with me and then I'll get back to your people. They'll get back to you. Yeah. All right, man. Sites, post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought. Um, if you enjoyed my review, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. If you did not, you're a complete moron. But still, make sure you hit the like button, share, and subscribe. One million subscribers. Woo!